Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. On the young and the restless, Sharon Newman has experienced a lot throughout the years. Fans of the soap opera may be wondering if her most recent crisis signals the end of her, but a glance at her past demonstrates that the troubled heroine is nothing if not resilient. Monica Potter portrayed the role, which was first revealed in March 1994. She and her replacement, Heidi Mark, were both only in the post for two months. However, Sharon Case took over in September, and Sharon quickly won over Y and R's fan base. After Sharon Collins and her mother Doris arrived to Geno City, Nicholas Newman fell in love with her right immediately and managed to wrest her away from Matt Clark. But after Matt and Nick got into a confrontation, Matt raped Sharon as payback. Although Victor helped pay for a procedure that Doris couldn't afford, Sharon insisted on repaying the money, which won Victor's respect, despite Nicky Newman's opinion that Sharon was a gold digger. Although it did cause a breach, Matt eventually managed to get Nick and Sharon back together after telling him she had given up a kid for adoption when she was 16. When Sharon revealed that Matt had sexually assaulted her just before she was set to wed Nick, he hurried to confront his opponent only to discover him dead. After being detained and found guilty of murder, Nick's killer was quickly identified as the lady he had sexually assaulted. At last, Nick and Sharon tied the knot. When she got pregnant, Nick wasn't ready, but Sharon didn't want to seek an abortion. Noah was not expected to live after his early birth. In an attempt to lessen the grief of losing Noah, Grace Turner and Tony located Cassie, Sharon's first child. However, after Cassie's survival, Grace made the decision to keep Cassie for herself for a while. After Cassie's real identity was made public, she moved in with Nick, Noah, and Sharon. However, Sharon walked out after becoming enraged when she discovered Nick with Grace. But Sharon got back together with Nick to maintain custody of the child when Cassie's adoptive mother, Alice Johnson, came back for her. Matt Clark reappeared under the guise of Carter Mills after undergoing plastic surgery, but happily Nick was able to foil his dastardly plans. Nick wasn't positive that Sharon's pregnancy was his because Matt had allegedly raped her when Sharon found out she was pregnant. Nick stormed off after a confrontation, and when Sharon ran after him, she stumbled and miscarried the child, who turned out to be Nick's after all. Sharon was attracted to Diego Gutierrez and ended up sleeping with him after suspecting Nick of being unfaithful. She confessed out of remorse and Nick and her broke up. Nick had finally calmed down and was prepared to make amends with Sharon until he saw her sharing a kiss with his father, Victor Newman. Sharon made the terrible decision to temporarily leave the area. Upon Sharon's return, it was discovered that she had become confused with Cameron Kirsten, who persisted persistently following her and putting pressure on her. In self-defense, she murdered him and hid the corpse, which then disappeared. As it happened, Cameron was indeed alive and looking for his retribution. However, Nick stepped in and stopped the bad guy from harming Sharon. Sadly, Cassie tried to drive an intoxicated Daniel home without a license or even a learner's permit, and she was murdered in an automobile accident. Sharon sought solace in Brad Carlton's embrace as the pain tore her and Nick apart. She then started dating Jack Abbott after that. Following her escape from the precipice that claimed Drusilla Winter's life, Sharon met Jack in private. However, their marriage was difficult, and they finally divorced. Brad performed for Sharon once again, but she was still in love with Nick, so they had sex. After experiencing episodes of blackouts and theft, Sharon was sent to the psychiatric hospital for therapy. She didn't know if Jack, Brad, or Nick was the father, but she was pregnant. After she gave birth at the mental institution, Adam Newman grabbed her baby to deliver to Ashley Abbott after she had miscarried. Sharon started dating Adam after leaving the hospital, disobeying everyone's advice not to go near the man. However, as the truth was revealed, 
Ashley returned the child to Sharon, who had given her the name Faith. Sharon eventually went back to Nick and consented to his marriage, but she was unable to control her love for Adam. Remarkably, though, Sharon married Victor thereafter in order to keep custody of Faith. That didn't last long, of course, since Sharon set fire to the Newman Ranch. She was given a bipolar illness diagnosis and, Adam, despite she her couldn't help but feel pulled by Nick. When Sharon finally got to see Nick again, she was afraid he would find out that she had tampered with the paternity test, which had identified Jack as Summer's father, rather than him. As Sharon's dosage increased, she started having images of Cassie and was shocked to discover the young lady was genuine. As it turned out, Victor had employed Maria Copeland, a lookalike, to pose as Cassie. However, it was eventually discovered that Maria was actually Cassie's twin, something Sharon was unaware of. Just as Nick and Sharon were set to tie the knot once more, Phyllis stepped in. Sharon eventually admitted to altering the test results out of fear that Nick would find out the truth. Enraged, Nick left her behind and even went to court to win Faith's custody. Sharon, who was devastated to lose her daughter, turned to Dylan McAvoy for solace. As their relationship grew, Dylan was overjoyed to find he was going to be a father. Sharon, on the other hand, didn't have the courage to tell Dylan that she had miscarried and was instead trying to become pregnant again, as soon as possible. However, when that failed to occur, she grew increasingly unstable before being admitted to the hospital. She carried Dylan home with her after her doctor showed her her baby there. They gave him the name Sullivan Sully McAvoy, but Sharon quickly sensed something wasn't quite right and found out that Sully was actually Christian, Sage's son. They were in an automobile accident when Sage confronted Sharon, and he passed away. Sharon persisted in her attempt to live the lie, but ultimately she was forced to acknowledge the reality. After Nick removed Christian, Dylan requested that she remain in Gino City for her kids and went into witness protection on her own. While managing the coffee shop and briefly dating Scott Granger, Sharon battled to put her life back together. However, that collapsed upon discovering that he had an affair with Abby. She became embroiled in the turmoil surrounding the sex industry when she became friends with Crystal, a prostitute. However, it was being entangled in Phyllis's inquiry into Chelsea's plots that resulted in Sharon being struck in the head with a coffee pot. After Chelsea's attempts to hush her failed, Sharon revealed Christian's true identity to Nick. Despite the fact that Nick and Sharon reconciled and he moved back in with her, their plan to be married again was severely derailed when she learned he had cheated on her with Phyllis and abandoned him at the altar. In addition, Sharon was implicated in the murder of J.T. Hellstrom. She saw the crime and assisted Nikki, Victoria, and Phyllis in covering it up. Sharon hired Brittany Hodges to defend her independently from the other women. Phyllis excluded as she made a deal with Christine after the murder was made public and the ladies were put on trial. Although the judge found them guilty, it came out that the man was actually still alive and seeking retribution, before being exonerated of the murder and conspiracy charges, Sharon had formed an uneasy connection with Detective Ray Rosales, while serving as a victim liaison for the GCPD during the JT scandal. Even though she and Ray made an effort, their romance was doomed when Adam came back to life and she started feeling attracted to her former partner. Sharon eventually ended up going to bed with Adam after Ray ditched her, Sharon instantly regretted what she had done, pushed Adam away, and said she would need to leave Gino City for a while in order to gather her thoughts. She then pledged to return with a new mission. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.